What's good June Squad? It's your boy June and today I'm bringing you a whole totally new video that I've never actually done before guys. Today I decided to go ahead and clean up the area. See lately I have been coming to a lot of these boat ramps and I see the clutter. I see I see bottles. I you know it's crazy how much bottles and garbage you would come across at the boat ramp. With all the people coming in and out of the boat ramp, you figured they would pick up their trash um, and throw it away or they will pick it up if they saw it so today what i'm doing is i actually have like a couple garbage bags i usually keep on the jet ski with me um and today i'm in uh indian river i'm on the indian river in grant and uh in grant going towards sebastian there's a lot of islands spoiled islands on the river and a lot of people throughout the weekend they go and they camp out there they have barbecues they eat and everything and uh so what i'm doing today is i'm gonna go hit those islands make sure there's no garbage left behind i'm gonna pick it up and bring it back to the ramp and throw it away properly um so i'm gonna bring you guys along hopefully we don't have to fill up i got two bags and i'm hoping that we don't have to fill up both bags well, i hope that i don't find any garbage at all guys i appreciate you guys watching and I also appreciate my subscribers, my June Squad. If you guys have not noticed, I have the new shirts that came out, June Squad. I am June Squad. Go cop it. The merch shop will be down in the description below. So make sure you go cop it. It supports me. Any little bit helps out, gets me out to these adventures. I appreciate you guys 100%. Don't forget to like the video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you comment. So as I'm doing my intro, guys, I'm right here on the beach. As you can see, I'm beached up. And already I see some trash. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that up. I see anything else over here? Oh, we got a plastic bag over here. We're gonna go ahead and pick this up too and throw it in the garbage. So far, this is what I got and I haven't even jumped on the jet ski yet. So, uh, I hope it stays clean. I hope everybody picks up after themselves, but it is what it is. So we let's go do us. But, We'll do our part. Ugh. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and head all the way down towards Sebastian um, and then work our way up. And hopefully, because the boat ramp's right there, so what I'm gonna do is go all the way down and then hit all the islands coming up and then ending at this last two islands here. Hopefully, those islands don't overdo it with trash if there's trash there um but we're just gonna play it by ear and uh hopefully we can get through these islands pretty quick with no trash that is the key today but it's also the key to make sure that we pick up anything we find so, all right beautiful day oh my god i'm loving this let's go the water is clear over here it's usually not clear like this. Wow, I like to see the lagoon looking really good. Oh yeah, I can see the floor, that is awesome. We have landed and looking around all I see is seashells seashells which is a good thing a lot of people come to this island and hang out too it's really nice but I'm not seeing no trash not seeing no trash that's a good thing I haven't found any trash yet but I found the boat Nice little sailboat. It's pretty cool. It looks dope pushed up onto the 
sand like that. Definitely a lot of cool photo ops. Pretty cool. Now, you guys see that red tag that I was talking about? It's Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. Uh, the owner and all interests in all attached properties. So they have to remove it or the owner has to pay a big fine. It's going to be towed out by the owner's expense. Check it out. Got water in it. It don't look too bad. If they get it out, this thing looks very salvageable. Pretty cool. Oh, well, I think I see something, guys. Hold on. Yes, I do. Get a bottle. There's one. Throw that over there. There's another one in here. And these are hunt uh, Corona bottles. Throw that one there. See any else? Well, we found some bottles. And they've been there for a while too. They're all faded out. Alright. Let's take these bottles. Let's take them on the inside. Put them over here so I can grab them all. When I head back, squeeze to here. Ooh. All right. Kidoki. We have bottles. Just leave those. I broke the bottle. Now I gotta clean that up. Look. Crap! All right. No problem. We'll take care of that. Ow, 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 sticks are hitting me everywhere, everywhere. Ooh, I see a big old spider web deer that I'm not going towards. All right. That's all the stuff I got to climb over. Oh, got trash there. deeper uh, another plastic bottle can't really go too far back that way because there's a number of bushes and trees now so that's locked off as you see some blue stuff here what's that oh there it is plastic this is the most dangerous stuff man this is fishing fishing bags bait bags i mean most dangerous stuff for for our fish, our wildlife. Guys, I think I got stung by a jellyfish. I just feel like a really bad sting all of a sudden in my leg. But it ain't gonna stop me from doing what we're doing. Got the garbage. So I got what we found here on this island so far um as you can see we're gonna go ahead and uh move on to the next island all right so it looks like that island uh is a bird sanctuary island there's signs all over and usually when they have signs that means that it's a bird sanctuary area and nobody's allowed on the island so that island should be clean so we're gonna go ahead and bypass this island and uh, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the other side and hit the other island that is over there wow that was a big snook All right, guys so we landed at another island Let's see what we got so far 
this is a camp this is a camping area a uh, picnic area that uh, a lot of these islands have like they have uh, grills on them and benches and stuff like that um, so people can come out here and barbecue cook and spend the day out here or the weekend um, yeah. so as you can see here we go this is a fire pit so there's no actual trash around so that's good but you see how they have tables barbecues nice little chill area to come with the family spend the day and chill on off the water it's beautiful oh this is it's awesome and i love i love 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 the fact that this thing is clean I, I i'm i'm tickled i appreciate you guys for keeping this place clean oh yeah we're gonna walk around So guys, I'm on the other side of the island now and I've come up to another camp site, which is not a campsite, it's a picnic area and people just tend to camp out in these areas and I found a, a fire pit with trash in it. So I see they try to burn it, which is not good. I'm going to grab the bag, we're going to fill that up, but come over here. and what do we have those little eggs those are eggshells that could be to an animal out here another table islands full of them so people can come and just chill spread out any garbage in there yep i see cans So they come and they try to burn the garbage. But the garbage doesn't get 100% burned. Got plastics. Yeah. More garbage. This is one of the bags that they give you. It says clean mountain bag. Disposable toilet. You. Ugh, I don't even want to know what that is, but. Should have been thrown away. It's the garbage. More cans. Beautiful, nice little scenery. Look at all this. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you can camp out here have this all to yourself but yet they leave garbage everywhere and i'm sorry guys if i sound like you know i'm blaming everybody i'm just blaming the ones that come out and do this really sorry to even have to do all this this it's, it's crazy in here this is plastic there's a bunch of plastic over here Make sure there's no snakes in there or spiders Ugh. all right a lot of plastic over here guys Got it. All right. We got honeycombs, a bunch of cups. And you know, this is all from people drinking out here. I mean, even if not drinking, you bring your cups out here. Throw your cups away. Good thing jet ski's still there. A 
what is that is that a football that's a little football right there oh, trash come on trash open all right that's in there oh look at this guy cans and bottles anything over here oh check it out that's pretty dope right there nice little shaded area oh look at this Uh, I see a bottle in there. Uh, bag's starting to get heavy. So the island even keeps bags on the island here. So you can grab some, but there's actually no bags. So county, I need you guys to step it up. If we want to keep these uh, islands clean. But at the same time, if you're coming out here with food, you should be coming out here and taking your trash with you. No matter if there's bags here or not. This right here is a privilege. Come on, guys. All right, guys. So I've left this place cleaner than I found it. Wait, I think I might have found some more trash. Hold on a second. Yep. I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Look at this, guys. Bottles. Let's throw that over there. Let's throw that over there for now. There's more over here. Ow. Ow. See what I'm trying to climb into to get all this stuff? Eesh. I got a stick stuck in my back. Ugh. This bag right here. Let's pull that out. And then there's a bag here. Which looks like it's full of eggs. Back under this. Ugh. I'm going to get this trash out. No matter what. Ugh. Got it. I must say that this island is a wrap. It's clean. Er than what uh, I found it. Bag is a lot heavier now. I'm a little winded because I had to climb in some trees. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I almost left and check this out. What's on the floor here, guys? It's a whiskey bottle. All right. Okay, dude, I'm trying to leave and I keep finding stuff. And it's not like they're thrown everywhere. It's just, they're scattered and they're, and it's sitting in bushes. So you gotta look really well. All right, guys, so I just pulled up to one of these islands and um, came across a bunch of vultures. And it's because of a dead manatee. And you can see it's just the bones. But a lot of people have been finding dead manatees on the Indian River because of um, lack of vegetation for the animals. Oh my God, this, this part right here is literally infested with, um, with vultures. I'm not even trying to get up in here, look. They're back in there and they just flew over that way. But this is, and there's some trash in there too, man. We have to come back to this one. Ugh, it stinks. I need to get away from here. I almost start puking. Ugh. All right, I know I'm supposed to call somebody to let them know that. There's a manatee there. I guess I should try to call Fish and Wildlife. Well, let me do that real quick. Florida Fish and 
Wildlife State Law Enforcement. This is Judy Officer Sharp. All right, so I called Fish and Wildlife, let them know that the carcass is here um, so the marine biologist knows and they can actually come out here and find out what's the cause. I heard there's a lot of manatees washing up dead. Like I said, from what I heard, it's because, well, they say it's because the manatees are, are dying because there's no vegetation in the Indian River for them to eat. So they're dying because of starvation. To be honest with you, I find that hard to believe, but you know, anything's possible. And and uh, I, I really hope that the problem is settled, but this water is very timid because of the leaks. Uh, waste management dumped thousands, probably billions of, of sewage into this river at one point. And there's a lot of repercussions from it. And um, yeah, you know, that's that when it comes to the wastewater and in our waterways, I've noticed that it's been very hush hush. They don't tend to talk about it as much. They don't go, it doesn't go in the news. Um, and it's pretty sad, it's pretty sad. All right guys, well, let's hit the other island. Let's finish this cleanup. All right, we are headed back to the boat ramp. We got one full bag and uh, three, three, almost three and a half, islands that I've touched today um, and that's what I've gotten so far now to be honest with you that's just three islands there's hundreds of islands out here um, we're gonna we're gonna get and dump this stuff I'll see you guys on the ramp So June Squad, this is where I'm ending the video. Guys, I can't believe how nasty, you know, some people are. You know, every time I go to the islands, I always make sure wherever I go on my jet ski, I make sure I come back with any garbage that I take with me. Well, that's a lot of garbage. A lot of garbage to find out here. And it's kind of disappointing. I was hoping not to find garbage, but I ended up finding garbage and a lot of it i ended up finding a dead manatee that you know that's pretty nasty too pretty bad feel bad for the manatee and from what we're told that it's just them being starving out here then that they don't have enough seagrass and this is the reason why the manatees are passing away but guys i hope this video inspires you to go out and do something and, and pick up you know or not litter whatever it is guys I hope this video inspires you, inspires you, inspires you, inspires you to do what I'm doing. Um, and that, you know, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get famous off of this. No, I'm just trying to clean up. I'm trying to, you know, just trying to do my part. And as, as a jet ski influencer, I want to show you guys that it's not hard to pick it up. It's not hard. You know, if we can do it together, we'll make a better place to live. But um, guys, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification buttons. Um, you guys have a blessed day. I appreciate all of you guys. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.